Hey everybody! Today's video is about my trip to the Horyuji Temple in Ikaruga Town, Nara Prefecture. The temple was inscribed in the UNESCO World Heritage Sites list in 1993 as one of the first from Japan. The official name for the inscription is the Buddhist Monuments in the Horyuji area and it comprises 48 ancient wooden structures at the Horyuji Temple as well as the Hokkizi Temple nearby. Horyuji's origin goes back to the early 7th century when Shotoku Taishi created a private palace in 607. Today, the temple's compound has an area of 18.7 hectares and contains some of the world's oldest surviving wooden buildings such as the main hall and the iconic five-storied pagoda. Horyuji is located in Ikaruga town and its closest train station is Horyuji on JR. The station is about a 20 minute ride from Tennoji station in Osaka city by the rapid train on Yamatoji line. The temple is 20 minutes away from Horyuji station on foot but you can also take the bus number 72 and get off at Horyuji Sando in 8 minutes. The temple is a minute away from there on foot. The train ride is 470 yen and the additional bus ride if you choose it is 190 yen. If you use the bus, you pay the fare when you get off and you can do so by cash or with the transportation IC card like Ikuka, which I did. Sorry, I forgot to check if you can also use Suica or Pasmo, the IC cards issued in Eastern Japan. Chances are you can, as these cards are widely used interchangeably nowadays, but I could be wrong since this particular bus is quite local. I arrived at the Horyuji Sando bus station around noon and I was hungry, plus it was slightly rainy, so I decided to eat first. Having said that, this was pretty much a planned course of action involving the famous local traditional food called Kakinoha Zushi. You can say it's like an ancient sushi that they make by fermenting the fish and rice compressed together and wrapped in persimmon leaves. Doesn't this sound enticing already? Fermentation creates amazing flavors. I mean, think of kimchi or sauerkraut and remind yourself they are made from freaking cabbage. I hope you agree with me. According to kakinoha.co.jp, kakinoha zushi was invented by the merchants who had to transport the fish over a long distance. The fish was preserved with a lot of salt applied to its open belly and it was too salty to eat by itself when they arrived at the destination because the salt had permeated into its whole body by that time. So they would slice the fish into thin pieces and put it on rice balls in a bite size. Then they would wrap each of those fish on rice balls in persimmon leaves which helps preservation and place them in a tub in such a way there's no space between them. Then they would put a lid on them and then put a heavy stone on the lid to get rid of oxygen inside. Fermentation occurs in the absence of oxygen. Welcome to science. <laughs> Kakino Hazushi has been most commonly made with mackerel fish, which I think is the best choice of fish for this. However, it was this company called Hiraso who added the new variation with salmon, which isn't bad either, yay! Today, Hiraso operates numerous restaurants in Nara Prefecture, including the one I'm sitting in right here. Kakino Hazushi stays fresh for more than 28 hours at the optimal temperatures between 15 and 20 degrees Celsius. Again, welcome to science! Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. So the sushi was amazing and I passed through the South Main Gate or Nandaimon. This is the most likely entrance for anyone who visits Horyuji as it's closer to the bus stop than the other gates are. After walking around 120 meters or so, you reach the middle gate or Chumon, which is where the ticket counter is. I know, but without the ticket, you won't see those crazy buildings. Let's spend that 1500 yen, shall we? Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. After the ticket counter, you will enter the western part of the temple which contains the main hall and the five-storied pagoda. Yeah, the crazy ones. This part is called the Western Precinct or Sainggaran in Japanese. The precinct also contains the covered corridor, sutra repository and bell tower. It remains uncertain exactly which year these structures were built in, but the ancient document Chronicles of Japan or Nihon Shoki reports their original structures were burned down in a massive fire in 670, although some scholars question the accuracy of this account. If the fire truly did occur that year and destroyed the original structures, they were probably rebuilt immediately afterward as they stand today. The structures in the western precinct are some of the oldest in the world dating back to the late 7th and early 8th centuries, baby! The main hall, called Kondo in Japanese, is the oldest of all buildings in the western precinct. It has two stories with roof tiles as well as a decorative skirt called Mokoshi beneath them that's made of wooden boards. The structure of the top story is Irimoya Zukuri, which is a combination of two simpler roof types. This elaborate roof structure was always preferred on prestigious buildings like prominent castles. Many of the modern Japanese houses use it too. 
The main horse eaves are long stretched, contributing to its characteristic appearance, and the roofs are curved upwards as they stretch out so they can withstand the weight of the heavy tires sitting on the long eaves. The small pillars which are decorated with sculpted dragons are supporting the roofs above yo. Positioned side by side with the main hall is the beloved, iconic, picturesque, often cartooned five-storied pagoda, also known as Gojunato in the language spoken by the folks who built it and have taken care of it. <laughs> it's the oldest five-storied pagoda in Japan and is 32.5 meters tall and it also has the curving roofs. Tall pagodas in Japan, including the one at Horyuji, have endured so many strong earthquakes in Japan over so many years. This is said to be because of the central pillar and the way it stands independently from the outer part. In Horyuji's pagoda, the central pillar is put on the base stone in the ground and it's only joined with the rest of the tower at the very top, leaving some space around itself everywhere else. This means that when the quake shakes the pagoda, the central pillar doesn't move with it but it moves differently. Like the pagoda swings to the right and the pillar swings to the left and the overall swinging isn't so big. The central pillar in tower -like structures is called Shinbashira in Japanese and there has been a lot of interest in how the Shinbashira is supposed to safeguard tall buildings. The Tokyo Skytree completed in 2012 employed a similar structure to the traditional pagodas by way of utilizing this central pillar with some space around itself. The middle gate called Chumon was the original entrance to the western precinct and has pillars utilizing emphasis. Like the ones at ancient Greek sites, the pillars here also have a convex curve to the surface which makes them the thickest, around one third of its length from the bottom. Ooh, sexy curves. The gate has four spaces between the front pillars, the middle two of which were used for passage. The outer two spaces contain the statues of Kongo Rikishi, the guardians often seen in Japanese temples. When you see the statues of Kongo Rikishi anywhere, they are always in a pair. One of them has an open mouth, while the other a closed one. The statue with the open mouth is called Agyo, and the one with the closed mouth is Ungyo. Both the A ah and Un come from Sanskrit, with the A ah being the first sound you make with the open mouth and the Un being the last sound with the closed mouth. Therefore, they symbolize the beginning and the end of things. The covered corridor or Kailo connects the Sutra Repository, the Great Lecture Hall, and the Bell Tower. Like the ones at the middle gate, the pillars here also have emphasis, with the middle part bulging slightly for um, a sexy effect. As mentioned earlier, the original creator of the Horyuji is Shotoku Taishi, who lived from 574 to 622. He built it to help Buddhism be accepted in Japan when it had just been brought in from China and Korea, but after his passing, he himself became the subject of worship and many monuments have been dedicated to him. This house, called Shoryo Inn and built in 1121, is one such example. He was a prominent politician, a son of Emperor Yomei, and was a nephew of Empress Suiko under whom he worked as a crown prince. Shotoku Taishi created the first ever constitution in Japan in 604. The eastern precinct, called Toin Garan, contains the Hall of Dreams or Yumedono, built in 739, again as a monument to Shotoku Taishi. This hall stands at the very site where he built his original private palace. Yumedono appeared on the 1000 yen bill issued in 1950. So, Horyuji was inscribed as a world heritage in 1993, and this entry actually included another temple nearby, called Hokkiji. Also, Nara Prefecture has enjoyed two inscriptions in that list already, and the other one is called the Historic Monuments of Ancient Nara, inscribed in 1998, five years after the first. This second inscription is a collection of several historic sites. And this is the end of the video, thank you very much for watching, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up! Subscribe to my channel for more videos on culture, travel, and music. Have a nice one. Bye.